Hi everyone, I'm just getting ready to go out so I thought I'd do an eye tutorial. Um, I did actually have two lights on by the side of me but I've had to switch them off because they made me look really orange. So I'll get started. Um, I'll just let you all know what I was wearing on my nails right now. It's um, Barry M Nail Paint in Glitter Red 150. And I'm going to start off by using... In fact, because the, sometimes the light takes a while to um, kind of like get used to the normal light. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows first. I'm just going to use this QVC um, brush that I've bought in Superdrug, I think. It's quite thin. I'm just going to take my Brown Eyes Girl kit from Primark. I'm just going to use the bottom colour here. It's like a dark brown. It does have a bit of glitter in, but it's okay for what I'm using using it for. So I'm just going to start off just up here and then colour it in. Just to make them a bit dense or more dense. <laughs> So if you can tell, you might not be able to tell, but I've done that, that one, so it looks a lot darker and more drawn on than this one here. Just put a bit more on. This actually stays on really well. Um, I've already put my foundation on, um, so maybe it sticks to that, but it usually just stays on all night. And I've had it on during the day as well, and it still kind of stays there. So there we go. Looks a bit weird actually now. I'll just brush it up here. Right, and well, it looks weird, I think, because my eyebrows are so dark compared to the rest of my face. Right, I'm going to start off with, um, I'm not going to put anything on under my eyeshadow. I'm just going to use Illamasqua Pure Pigment in Um I've mentioned this on my November favourites. And it comes like this. And so I'm just going to press. Do you see that? <laughs> just like blew it all away. Just going to press my brush into it and just press it on my eye. Just all over. I'm just pressing it in because if you rub, the glitter just gets absolutely everywhere. So that's why I'm pressing it in. This was actually what I used in last, might be two weeks ago, I think, when I went out last time. And I did this same eyeshadow look. I think it was Clothes and Curls that um, requested me to do this tutorial. So if anyone hasn't seen Clothes and Curls, you should definitely go over to her channel because it's really good. She's just done a lush haul and I just want, oh sorry it's my phone, <laughs> she's just done a lush haul and I just want everything on it. Sorry that's my phone. I've just sent my friend a picture of my toenails in that red shiny nail varnish colour <laughs> and he absolutely hates toes so I'm sure that he'll love that. Right, so I'm just bringing it up just a bit um, past my crease, only slightly though. It's such a nice, delicate champagne colour, if you can see that. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in Velvet Plum 3, metallic eyeshadow it's called to show you the back of it so you can see what it looks like. I'm not sure if they still do this so I did buy this quite a while ago now and it looks like this. It's kind of like 
a browny purpley colour and it's very very shiny, very metallic like it says. I'm just going to use this brush which is a number 7 blending brush. I'm just going to apply this to the crease of my eye. I'm going to start from the corner first. Now I'm really not very neat at doing this. But, uh, I want to try and make them look as even as possible, so... Okay, so let's just keep on blending that just to the corners of my eyes, just so it looks nice and even. So if you can see that... I'll turn a light on and see if you can see it a bit better. Oh, it's just making me look so orange. Probably can't see that at all. Right, and next I'm going to apply my eyeliner. Okay, I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I've just got changed into my top that I'm wearing. I'm just going to clip this bit of hair back here. And I can hear it pouring it down my brain outside, so having curly hair is going to be fun. Um. I really miss my Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner, so I'm going to have to use um, the Urban Decay one, which is really good. I really like this. It gives a very nice mark. And then the Bourjois uh, light, the felt tip liner thing. I think I might use that, although it dries out. I've said this on my um, November favourites, that this dries out as soon as you do one eye, then you do the next eye, it just dries out. So I'm not too keen on that. But yeah, I'm just going to do the top of my eye. I might just take it just to the middle there. I'll see. Yeah. I'll tilt this down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. I really like this one because it's really pigmented, so you can. It only takes like one line or two. I'm just going to go underneath with that one as well. Just so it opens up the eyes nice and wide. So these are really not perfect, but if you can see there, you can see how uh, dark they are now. I'm just going to put um, the felt tip just at the corners, just to make them a bit darker and a bit blacker, because my eyebrows are so dark. I'm just going to go over the top on that. Like anyone who's used the Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner will know that you'll get this really dark effect just by literally one sweep across the eye, so it's just so expensive. There you are. That's all I'm going to do, I think, on that. Obviously, my little clip is gorgeous there. Um, okay, now, the other week, I had on the... Oh, God, I hate saying this name. Shu, Shu Amora eyelashes, which look like this. There's three in there, because when I bought these eyelashes, the woman said they were too long and she cut like literally so much off, she cut them like in half and I've lost the other middle bit I've lost the shorter one of these because I thought it would be really nice to put them at the sides of your eyes the only time I want to do it and I've lost it so I've worn these literally about 10 times I think 10, yeah they're just really nice, I like them because they're quite natural looking 
I say natural, they're absolutely massive compared to my eyelashes, but they've got like brown and blacks all mixed in with them. So I just think they look really good. If you can see. And I think this is what made it look more of a smoky eye because it, because of the corners came really, really, really dark. I'm not sure if I want to put eyelashes on tonight. I just thought I'd show you them um, just so you could see. But I think tonight I'm just going to put on my Bobbi Brown uh, mascara that I've actually had for about a year now. I should probably throw it away, but I love it. It's the Waterproof and Lengthening Mascara by Bobbi Brown. So I'm not going to bother curling them because these are just amazing. I actually tried my friend Ellie's Bad Girl Lash, is it called, by Urban Decay. That was so good. It was amazing. I think that one and the Bobbi Brown one are probably my favourites. Just going to start from the base and pull up. I'm going to do an outfit of the night after this as well so you can see what I'm wearing. Um, or I could actually do it in this video because it's not going to take that long. Once I've done this side, I might do put the Daniel Sandler Jumbo Jet Mascara on afterwards. I'll have to see. Just going to do the other eye now. Not very happy with my hair today. It's not um, gone as curly as I'd want it to. I think because it's lost so much volume, so I've just curled it all using my GH. You can't even tell any difference when they come up really close. Just going to apply some to my bottom lashes as well. I usually just do the corners of my bottom lashes and not all. I say this, I'm going to end up doing them all, aren't I? Okay, so now they look a lot wider than they were before. So I'll just take my hair down, like so. Can you see it's just really flat and really heavy? He looks like I've got fake hair on. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so now I'm going to... This was just meant to be my eye tutorial, but I think I'm going to show you um, a bit more. I'm just going to put my Bobbi Brown belly... Um, bronzer on. Looks like that. This is so, so, so glittery, so don't put it on in the daytime. Um, Right, now I'm going to apply, even though I've got red sparkly nails, I'm going to apply this one because it's a really nice lipstick. It's Rebel um, by MAC. I don't know why I'm showing you this, I've just told you the name. Um, I'm just going to apply this straight from the barrel. Um, I'm not going to do <laughs> any of that uh, dark red, the, like the tutorial that I did for the dark red lip. I'm just going to literally apply this from the barrel. Um, mainly because it's fairly new and it's just still got the point on so I can kind of aim well with it. <laughs> I'll put the camera down so you can see what I'll do there. Actually I can look in this mirror. I've already moisturised my lips as well. I'm forgetting quite dry now. Probably a good thing I don't have a better camera, you'd be able to see all the flaky paints all around my mouth where it's really dry. Okay. 
I'm still actually going into the centre. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use a lip brush now because it's getting a bit messy. I'm just going to use this lip brush that I used for the red lip one and it's by Marks and Spencers. And there's the finished look. It's very, very like sheen and like satiny looking once it's on. Actually makes my teeth look really white, which is a good thing. Um, so yeah, there's the finished look and there's my makeup that you can't even see on this ridiculous lighting. I'll try and turn on this one and see if you can see it a bit better. Um, but I'm going to try and do one using the Heaven and Earth palette from is it Makeup Academy. I've lost see where it is now. But I'm going to try and do one using that instead because I know these um, eyeshadows are really, really expensive. And I've actually had one of them for such a long time. So and the other one was just a bit of a gift to myself, the other master one. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked that tutorial and I hope it helped and if not, then it's fine. So um, I hope you're all having a good night and getting excited for Christmas. Bye.